Public and Private Sexuality. Thesis. The line between what is private and what is public when it comes to sexuality is hard to decipher, as these spheres are constantly merging together, creating an integrated space of private and public problems that are changing spheres. Eula Wisherman. My essay is based off of Wisherman's theories concerning the separation of public and private spheres. This analysis of discourses concerning private life in the public sphere is devoted not only to a historical reconstruction, but it also casts a glance into the future, into a transformed cultural and media landscape, and poses questions as to the role of the private in the public sphere and beyond, as to whether the public sphere would have to protect privacy. The two spheres. The public sphere is an area in social life where individuals can come together to freely discuss and identify societal problems, and through the discussion, influence political action. The private sphere is a certain sector of societal life in which an individual enjoys a degree of authority unhampered by interventions from governmental or other institutions. Some factors of sexuality can be directly put in the public sphere after being private, and other factors can be put in the private sphere after being public. What happens when they merge? Sexuality can start in the private sphere and emerge into the public sphere, where everyone in societal life, from people in the neighborhood to the government, can hear about it. This becomes a problem for people who don't want their private problems and actions to become public concern, and it ruins their right to intimacy in the idea that everyone deserves to have private moments. Sexuality can also come from the public sphere and become part of the private sphere, which then is concerning only a few individual people. This can be good, but also can be bad, as maybe the issue at hand that is being put into the private sphere should really be a public matter where people can converse and solve the issue. What about sexuality is in each sphere? The factors of sexuality that are in the public sphere are someone's sexual preference and orientation, someone's sexual habits, and sometimes someone's physical body. The factors of sexuality that have something to do with the private sphere are someone's physical body, their sexual preference, who they have intercourse with, their sexual habits, and their sexual desires. Example of private to public sphere merge. Starting with the story of Sarah Bartman, she was a woman who never had a right to her own body. She was thrown into the public sphere and surrounded by public opinion about her body and sexuality by neither leaving Europe in chains or by becoming a famous person at her own will. She had no choice. The men in charge of her had more privileges when it comes to being private, so they were able to keep their private life secret and to live through the usage of her private life being put into the public sphere. She was treated like an animal, put through abuse of the powerful men, press, and the viewers that paid for her show. It is unfair for her as she was made an object her whole life, even after death. Something so private, like death, was still something that someone took control of and earned money off it. Example of public to private sphere merge. The story that escapes from the public sphere to the private sphere is a story of sex tourism in the Dominican Republic. The public sphere completely surrounds the output of sex tourism, how the women find the men, how they are noticed by tourists, and how police even are watching them to put them in jail because they are breaking a law when they are performing sex work for Dominican men and tourists. They go from the public sphere directly to the private sphere when it becomes more intimate between the sex worker and the customer they are trying to entice. Both sex workers and sex tourists are looking for each other. They are looking for a private, intimate moment with someone else, yet do not want to form a relationship or any type of feelings for who they are working for or who they are paying to become an even more private situation. Conclusion Sexuality can start in the private sphere and emerge into the public sphere where everyone in society can hear about it, and sexuality can also start in the public sphere but end in the private sphere, where only a couple people are involved and it can be either good or bad for each of the people involved. Society can be intimate when it wants to be, and people can be public when they want to be. It depends on what people want to do with their lives.